Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts.
us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. We just want to give you the honor and praise that is due to you. We love you and we praise you. Thank you for your presence in our lives. We bless you, O oh God. We praise you for there is none other like you. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, for taking our place. Oh, we praise you for your power and your strength. Thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit, which gives us comfort and guidance. Oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all, everything that is within me, bless your holy and matchless name. I pray that your presence will always be with us, your people. I pray that our minds will have clean thoughts and understand your love for us, that our tongues will speak your wisdom and sing your praises. As we rise each morning, O oh Father, we are reminded of your existence through nature, the sunlight that gives us warmth and the winds that surrounds us. We just want to thank you for being O oh Creator God. We put our faith and trust in you, Heavenly Father, especially now as the world is going through a testing time. Oh, we pray that someone's heart will be touched even now and that you would touch them at the point of their need. Thank you for being our protector, our provider, and our deliverer, O oh God. We praise you. We bless you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.
Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died. Yes, who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God? Who indeed intercedes for us? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are being killed all day long. We are counted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Here ends the reading.
let us go to God in prayer. Lord, speak to our wedding hearts, that the word shared and spoken be activated in our lives, that we too, like the Apostle Paul, through his personal experience and encounter with you, will boldly declare in these uncharted waters that if you are for us, who can be against us? And who or what will be able to separate us from your unconditional love and faithfulness towards us? Amen. God's unfailing love and faithfulness is the theme for today's meditation and is primarily taken from Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39. We focus on verse 31 and 35, which reads, What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? What are we to say about these things, my brothers and sisters? That the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Romans is saying and implying to us today in our current situations in which we are presently facing wrestling and battling with during the season of change due to the pandemic that if god is for us who can be against us how can we begin to comprehend such a statement when it seems as though this god of peace and faithfulness and love is absent how can we believe that he's here when we have been crying out and calling upon the name of the lord for deliverance for some time now but yet there has not been any response. But the Apostle Paul reminds us that if God is for us, who can be against us? And thus, we must be patient and exercise the faith and trust in God to deliver us during the storms of life and in his own time, which is always appropriate and timely. For if God is for us, who can be against us? We are therefore encouraged through this letter to set and keep our minds on the Spirit of God. If we are to overcome the obstacles of life and continue to experience and encounter God's love and faithfulness in our lives. For there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. The law of the Spirit of life of Christ Jesus has set us free and when we continue to set and live, live our lives according to the spirit we have life and we have peace a life of god's unconditional and abundant love and grace and a peace that surpasses all understanding all given to us by the almighty god we are therefore reminded in verse 16 that is the very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we are children of God. And if we are children, we are not only children, but we are heirs and joint heirs with Christ. Therefore, if we are the beneficiaries of such things, who can be against us? Who will be able to separate us from the love of God? Who has given unto us his unfailing love and faithfulness even when we don't deserve it who will you allow to separate you today from the love of this god that has loved you for everlasting love provided for you over time comfort you when you're in distress delivered you when you least expected protected you from all situations who, my brothers and sisters, would you allow to separate you from this wonderful relationship of you fear God? Who would you allow to question and second guess your God? For it's only the Spirit of God that will help us in our times of weakness, loneliness, and our moments of fear. For it's in this Christ Jesus who has died has been raised and who will sit at the right hand of God and who indeed will be interceding for us. Who will you allow this day to separate you 
from this love of God? Will you allow the hardships and the struggles of life to separate us? Will you allow the, allow the pandemic, the loss of jobs or the loss of family or friends to separate you from the love of Christ? Will you allow the distress of the online education, the online work, the online church, separate you from the love of God? Will you allow the persecution of family or friends or associates to separate you from the love of God? Will you allow the famine or nakedness or peril or the sword to separate you from the love of this wonderful God? The God that has created and formed you in his own image and who has first loved you with an everlasting love and is still faithful to you when all others have failed? For the past two to three weeks, my brothers and sisters, I wrestled with pain and swelling in my legs. And it caused me to think and pause, where is my God? Has he forgotten me? But then when I reflected and meditated on the words of the well-known hymn, through all the changing scenes of life, which was penned many years ago, but is still very much appropriate in today's world with the various challenges that we face and encounter, it led me to the words, through all the changing scenes of life, in trouble and in joy, my praises of my God shall still, my heart and tongue employ. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, with me exalt his name. When in distress to him I call, he to my rescue came. When in distress to him I call, he to my rescue came. Yes, my brothers and sisters. Is at that point in our lives that when we feel we are under attack by the enemy, that we can call upon the name of the Lord for deliverance from our present situations. We must stand firm and never retreat and never surrender to the enemy. If ever there's a time to love this Jesus, the time is now. This is the time to return that unconditional love to God today, not tomorrow. Not next week, not next month. The time to love this God is now. This is the time that when our backs are against the walls, we can begin to call upon the name of the Lord and push forward knowing that the God is for us. Who can be against us? He is our chief and major line of defense as we advance forward to defeat the enemy. 2 Timothy 1 7 reminds us that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Power and a sound mind to trust Him at His very word as He remains faithful to us and promises never to leave us nor forsake us, and that nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God. Nothing will be able to do that. This is the God in whom we serve. The God that is our very present help in trouble. Whether it be social, whether our challenges are emotional, whether our challenges are physical or mental, or whether our challenges are even financial, He is always there to fight and carry our battles for us. Just as the Apostle Paul was so entangled with the love of God towards him that he boldly declared, For I am convinced. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor nothing else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We must do likewise. We must be like true soldiers in the battlefield for God, even though we may be wounded, hurt, or lonely fearful or lacking in the faith we must press on to victory and fight the good fight and allow nothing to separate us from the love of god who is ever present fearful and loving yes my brothers and sisters there will always be times in our lives when we feel defeated downtrodden empty and weak but one good thing that we have is that we have a friend in Jesus. We have an anchor in which we can hold on to. 
G friend engines in whom we can go to and share and offload all our worries and burdens, knowing that he will hear and respond in the appropriate time. Today, I want to encourage all of us, do not give up, but to continue to love the Lord through all the changing and difficult scenes in our lives. Don't lose that hope that you've had in him, but stand firm and boldly clear that nothing will allow you to be separated from the love of God in Christ Jesus because he is your great redeemer and deliverer, tried, true, and trusted. Hold on, my brothers and sisters. Allow nothing to separate you from the love of God because if God is for us, who can be against us? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. for being a part of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.